Hey okay guys, uh, a quick video here on another one of these HD toothpick builds I put together. This is like another prototype frame from the Drone Club. Uh, you've probably seen some photos on my Instagram. I don't think this one, this iteration is available anymore. So I'm not going to go into too much details on this because he's still changing, updating it. But uh, finally the props are out of shot here and the camera, HD camera is not showing any props in view. Um, but uh, you've actually ever seen this fly already in the baby turtle whip uh, video from a few days ago. That's right there. And um, that's me flying it. So th the flight video that you can see after I'm done talking about this build is actually, oh my god, it's uh, Tommy Dubaya wanted to fly this and tr check it out. And you're going to see him ripping this around at the park I normally fly at, which is pretty cool. Um, but this build, uh, let's talk about real quick, um, using the Nameless RC all-in-one uh, flight controller board there with the USB port going out the side instead of vertical. And I'm trying out the Nameless RC Nano uh, 400 VTX. Now, I'm not going to show you any DVR footage just because this, this VTX is defective. It doesn't seem to hold the channel. It drifts and so uh, you, don't, you don't get very good reception. I'm going to have to get that replaced. And then I'm using the Zing Nano 1105 uh, 6000 KV motors here. Pretty nice. This nice pink color here. Uh, these props are not so great. Very hard to tune and if you have a little minor crash they will produce a lot more jello, a lot more vibration. So um, I'm not even going to bother linking them in the description. I don't recommend getting them. Uh, but if you really want to know what it is then uh, you can leave me a comment and I'll let you know. Anyway, the battery I'm using here is a GNB 300 uh, milliamp hour 3S high volt. I think I uh, would be better off getting like maybe a 453S or a 523S. You can definitely carry the weight no problem. The flight time is pretty short on this one, but it does rip around pretty nice because it's very light. I like this whole thing here without the battery is like 78 grams and then with the battery is like 110 grams something like that. It's pretty late overall this build. It's got, I mean, I mean the, the components in there are basically two boards in there. You got a nano camera and 1105 motors here so not a lot of weight. So anyway, we get right to the flight. I'm sure you guys are interested because I probably made a really interesting title to get you guys to click on the video and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, I, obviously this is a prototype not a very good tune on here, um, et cetera, et cetera, but you get to see a different pilot, a much better pilot than me flying this guy around, so hopefully you enjoy the flight.
sure. Just give me give me your opinion, Tommy. What do you think if you if you just flown this? Th this is this is mind blowing. <laughs> I haven't flown something uh, an ultralight. What is that's what you categorize this, right? HG toothpick. Yeah, yeah. So basically an HG toothpick, and uh, this this freaking moves. Uh, it's been a long time since I've dabbled in the micro side. I've only dabbled with the heavier, like more cinematic style stuff. But this is definitely like point and shoot. Like this is, this is nice. <laughs> this is definitely really nice. Cool.